Hi, and welcome back to Pittman's Pumpkin Patch, Pittman's Garden Patch. It's August the 8th, 2014. It's also my son Luke's birthday. He turned three years old today. Happy birthday, Luke. I love you. And um, I was looking out my window this morning when I woke up, and I saw this pumpkin flower blossoming. And I was like, and I was able to see inside of it from my uh, window, and I was like, wait a minute, that's not a male flower. That's a female flower, and sure enough, it is. Uh, there's the fruit at the bottom of the petals, the baby pumpkin. And um, usually, 99% of the time, uh, male flowers show up first. But that wasn't, that's not the case this time. This uh, female pumpkin flower is the first one to blossom in this uh, patch here this particular part of my patch I mean look how healthy this thing is these and I only planted a few in here these are racer plus and uh, charisma pumpkins and as you can see I've had to put up some makeshift little trellises I was hoping that those things would uh, the poles would stay a little bit straighter I have some little clamps around them that are screwed into the uh, wood pallets at the bottom to hold the poles in, but they're top heavy, as you can see. So I don't know if I'm going to uh, do anything about that or not. I, I might put some kind of uh, PVC pipe across the top to give it some stability. Uh, because some of the plants, the, uh, the stem, the vine, excuse me, was growing out of the patch and out into the yard and I didn't want that and they were so stiff that I couldn't really bend them back and train them to go back in without breaking them so I quickly put up this little trellis just to get a couple of them off the ground and, and get them going up and then any others that uh, decide they want to grow outside I'll have to see about you know training them up that trellis or if I can get them back in that would be great but anyways, uh, I came out here and there was a there was of course a bee inside of it, and uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, I see you. <laughs> He's been a very cooperative bee, and and anyone who knows me knows I have a phobia of bees, and. Uh, You know, I, I have always had that since I was about four or five years old. And uh, But you know what? I know most of the time, the, when they're out getting into the nectar and the pollen and everything, 99% of the time they will leave you alone. If You you know, you don't want to go in there and poke the, <laughs> poke the cage, you know. But what I did was I had some male flowers still sitting in the refrigerator. I'm like, well, let me see if I can... I, had, I wasn't able to get to some of the fresh flowers that are across there, except for one. The bees and other things were in the others, and some of them were so high up the trellis I didn't feel like climbing. So in any event, I pollinated with one fresh flower, and then I took all five or six of the others that I had that were refrigerated, and probably at the end of their usefulness. And I just, even with that bee in there, I was able to paintbrush and put the pollen in, and didn't disturb him. He didn't come out. Oops! There he just comes out. Oop! Stay away from me, buddy. I'm I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Okay, Whew. my my legs are frozen up right now. <laughs> Don't laugh. <laughs> Phobias are are. Whew. But in any event, um, what was I even saying now? Uh, yeah, so I used uh, what I had left. Oh, he just flew back in there. And um, this is your 15 minutes of fame, buddy. You're on YouTube. <laughs> do your job move that pollen around go back over there to those other male flowers and bring over that fresh pollen I also uh, shot in a few sprays of uh, the blossom set and you know what the bee didn't care I just sprayed in like one little shot at a time see how re he reacted he, he didn't care he just kept moving around doing his thing I sprayed a couple more shots <gasps> okay 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 that's enough that's enough <laughs> He came right at me, and I'm just like, ah. so any of it. <laughs> oh, my fingers are got this numbing, tingling feeling going in there. Ah, uh, jeez, I'm such a wimp. 
<laughs> but any event, uh, what I was saying was, um, uh, so I, I had one fresh pumpkin flower male that I was able to put the pollen in. About five or six other, not quite so fresh, but I needed to use them from the refrigerator male flowers. And then I about, uh oh, he's after me now. Four or five other, <laughs> okay, I'm leaving. Four or five other pumpkin flowers, um, four or five shots of the blossom set spray. And uh, <laughs> uh, hopefully that's, that'll work and be some success with that. And hopefully I'll have my first uh, pumpkin growing in that part of the patch. I have two growing in the other uh, patch that you've seen in the previous videos. Not a whole lot going on there though. You know, things have kind of died back. Diseases have hit there. And I'm trying to get those under control. And I had to cut out a lot of, uh, a lot of, um, the, uh, plant and cut it out. Um, the leaves and stalks and things like that due to diseases and things. So, um, you know, so I got two flowers on there and, uh, and uh, two two pumpkins. I'm excuse me. Two pumpkins growing on there, and they're doing fine. Found a squash bug on one of them last night, and I killed that bug. And uh, so uh, that female flower that you saw in, in the video a few minutes ago, that is that is a uh, racer racer plus. That's a racer plus pumpkin. So hopefully, in a couple days or so, I'll know whether it was successful in being pollinated. All right, from Pittman's pumpkin patch, Pittman's garden patch. <laughs> At least that's where I was <laughs> until the bee chased me out. <laughs> Have a good one.